What's up? It's Robert, and it's January 19th, 2019. I wasn't feeling that great the last couple of days, and uh, not in a physical way, in a more of a spiritual way, feeling sort of hampered. Okay, And if you've ever felt like this, maybe you've asked yourself, should I do some journaling? Okay, well, I just did that today. I have been putting it off. I should have done it earlier, but I did it today, and the results speak for themselves. The results were that... Uh, I feel so freed up. I feel I feel much better. A lot of thoughts that I guess were just sitting right below the surface through this journaling, it allowed them to come fully to the surface. And so now they are captured on paper. So here are my three pages. One, two, three. And where I got this strategy from is from a book called the Artist's Way, A Spiritual Path to Higher Creativity by Julia Cameron. Now, the whole theory put forth in this book is that the block to creativity is some sort of censoring mechanism in the mind. This is my paraphrasing of how I understand the thesis, okay? Is that there's this censoring mechanism that's saying like, no, not a good idea, or no, don't say that, or... So, by doing what's called free journaling and just writing continuously three, the author recommends three pages, non-stop, so just whatever comes to mind, just like writing it down instead of, instead of stopping and thinking and evaluating before writing it down. If you just allow that flow to come out, metaphorically speaking, it, it opens the faucet and it turns off the sensor in the mind and it allows that flow, okay? So is that true? I don't know. It's a, it seems like a pretty fair uh, and reasonable explanation. Um, I'm more interested in, of course, yeah, the mechanism of action is great. It's always great to clarify that. Uh, first concern, though, is results. Does it get the results? And I've done this, I've started this book like a year ago and then I stopped, but it I would say pretty consistently it gets good results. It opens up some channels and it allows some free thought. So I would definitely recommend getting the book. I'll put a link below so that you can find it easily. But the more important thing is it, it allows for this flow. Okay, now, second thought. If, all right, let's see how I want to put this. If we assume that that theory is has some substance to it, or there's a, there's a high level of truth to it, then we have to ask, what's the nature of this this censoring mechanism? What it what is it like? What strengthens it and what weakens it? If you had an analogy, like you could use a um, analogy of like handcuffs, right? or metaphor, whatever. Essentially, the, the censoring mechanism is limiting. It's very limiting to the self and to your own mind. And so whatever you can do, in a way, it's like its own set of handcuffs on your mind, right? It limits, it limits your spirituality or your, your beingness. So that becomes very, very significant. Now, I'm going to turn that into a little meme. Actually, I had like seven ideas for memes, which I'm going to post on my uh, The Existence First Instagram. So if you're not on that, go to um, Existence First, all one word on Instagram. And I post uh, like a new little like insight slash motivation per day. So, I mean, that's... Slavery in history class, they'll teach they'll teach us that slavery was was abolished or it ended at a certain date in history. But that's uh, that's speaking legally, okay. Here, this channel existence first is for philosophy and spirituality and self empowerment. And if we're speaking that language, then slavery is still going on today, all around, and the biggest. The biggest originator of the slavery is yourself. Number one, by 
doubting. And then number two, by allowing things that happen on the outside to cause a self-limitation. Um, so it causes, it causes you to limit yourself or it causes you to doubt yourself. And that's the pattern that I, I've started to recognize. So now that, I, now that the cause and effect relationships are becoming more and more clear every day, I feel like it's going to be like almost impossible to keep the handcuffs on. So, all right, that's my video for today. Remember to put your existence, oh, my t-shirt, there you go. Put your existence first. And if you're not on the, uh, the Instagram, go get it right now. Instagram, uh, existence first, one word, all lowercase.